hello guys welcome back again i'm mj in this video i'll show you some important shortcut key of ms word for macbook so let's start first i will show you some basic shortcut key and then i will show you very important and useful shortcut key you hardly find on internet okay so watch this video carefully and watch this video till the end so let's start from the first shortcut key so to cut paste just select the text and press command x and then command v to paste okay and if you want to only uh, copy then simply select the text and press command c and then command v to paste these are very simple and basic okay if you want to undo anything uh, just press command z or z okay command z or z to undo okay and to select all press command a your all text will be selected and to find anything in your document press command f and here just type your find word like i will type footer and it will search the footer all the way to your document just you need to press enter again and again to search your all text and command o to open the file it's very easy okay and for print press command p yeah and to save the document press command s okay and to insert the new page keep the cursor end of the text of page and then press the command enter and new page will be added okay yeah good and next is how to close file simple uh, command w to close the file right now i'm not going to do it because this file will be closed and how to delete the word if you press only delete button it will delete only character okay if you want to delete the entire word like this word just press command and delete button together entire word will be deleted yeah simple for center alignment press command e and to justify press command j and for right alignment command r for left alignment command l and the next is how to do end end paragraph from left for this press control shift m so your paragraph will indent or tab from the left side yeah and how to do the line spacing for single line command 1 yeah it will single line and for double line press command 2 and for 1.5 line spacing press command 5 yeah and how to increase the font size to increase the font size select your fonts and then press command shift and greater symbol or full stop symbol yeah and to decrease the font size uh, hold the command shift and lesser symbol or comma for font change just select the text which you want to uh change the font size here like this and then press command d and from here you can type your font size or choose your font style look at that and next is how to extend or minimize the ribbon ribbon means this one this one okay so for this just press command option r okay command option r to expand or minimize the ribbon and yeah next is now the important shortcut is coming and very useful shortcut is coming and how to move to the end and home of your document so i am on the uh, home of uh, the document beginning of the document like page 1 and here and suddenly i want to go to the end of the document by using the shortcut key okay uh, hold the function button and the option button together and then press right arrow key you will go to the end of document look at that page number 6 my end and to go to the home of your page do the same function option and the left arrow key yeah and next save as for save as your file hold the command shift and s so this file will be saved as give the file name and save as okay and next is how to go to the 
end of line or uh, starting of line just hold the command and use the left right arrow key so if you want to go to the end use the right arrow key with command look at that and to go to start of the your line hold the command and left arrow key okay to select the word you need to press the shift option and arrow keys left right arrow keys look at that yeah it will select your word next how to select the entire line for this hold the command and shift use the left right arrow keys to select the entire line okay to select from the beginning to end press the right arrow key or from end to beginning press right arrow key with the combined key of command shift okay and sometimes we need to select the entire paragraph to select the entire paragraph uh, use the command shift and arrow keys up or down arrow keys okay so up and down arrow keys with command and shift key to select the entire paragraph next is i think very important shortcut key you hardly find the shortcut key on internet so i want to change the my uh, text letter case upper case to lower case so for this you can use shift f3 button okay to hold the shift and press f3 button first time it will only capture the first letter and if you press once again it will capture entire word okay and if you press again f3 with shift key it will be small entire your selected word yes good i will underline word but not spaces okay for this command shift and w look at that here it's only underline the word not space okay yeah and next is very easy how to make uh, italic select the word and command i to make a italic okay yeah simple and next is how to superscript and subscript for superscript for select the your word or text and then hold the command shift and press plus it will superscript if you want to normal then do the same hold the command shift and plus it will become normal and for subscript hold the command and then press plus okay yes again press it will become normal good and how to insert the copyright symbol hold the option key and then press g that's it your copyright symbol will be added and to insert the trademark symbol hold the option and press 2 it will insert the trademark yeah and next is to insert the date current date press control shift and d your current date will be added to insert the time current time press control shift t it will insert the time good and next is i think very important shortcut key and very useful shortcut key sometime we need to move the entire paragraph uh, up or down so for this time so for this situation select your paragraph if you want to move and then press control shift okay and now use the up arrow key to move up down arrow key to move down look at that the entire paragraph is moving and next is how to insert the equation yeah to insert the equation just press control and then is equal to or plus icon here you can see equation is added good and next is very important uh, clear the formatting uh, so here i'm going to take some formatting like this one i have changed the color and uh, suddenly i want to clear the all formatting i want to my text become the normal so to clear the your formatting just hold the command shift and then press n and boom that's it everything is become normal 
okay next is how to insert the bullet point okay so select the uh, text which you want to insert the bullet point like this and then hold the function key command key shift key together and then press l and boom okay and next is how to insert the footnote press the command option f and you can insert your footnote here okay and to insert the end note command option e and here you can insert the end note yep and to split the screen okay if you want to split the screen just press command option s command option s and your screen will be spread look at that yeah good to remove it do the same command option s your split screen will be removed and how to go to the directly on to page number i am working on the page number one and suddenly i need to go to the page number 30 or 40 or 10 or whatever so at this situation you need to use the simple shortcut key command option g press it and i want to go to page number five type it page five and hit enter and it will go to the page number five as you can see page number five yeah simple okay uh, next is spell check okay spell check is very important okay so here i have a wrong word and to check the spell uh, you need to just press command option and l it will open the spell check and it will suggest here just double click on it and change it that's it command option and then press the c so it will also change the your letter case look at that yeah and how to open the paragraph setting command option m to open the paragraph setting and next is how to open the word prefaces command option p to open the word prefaces okay next is uh, how to open the dictionary control command and d to open the dictionary okay and how to open the smart lookup so select the text and then select the text like this and then press command control l so it will open the smart lookup look at that it will also show the suggestion from the internet okay and the next is table so the simple is uh, if you want to move the next uh, cell just press tab and if you want to move the previous cell just press shift tab okay it's a very simple and basic and then how to insert the row to insert the row press the control command i your new row will be added command control i yeah good and to delete the entire row command control x look at that the entire row is deleting yeah good and next how to move the entire cell uh, sometime we need to move the entire cell up or down so select the your entire cell uh, row and then hold the control shift okay control shift and use the up arrow key to move the cell up and use the down arrow key to move the cell down look at that so these are some important shortcut keys i have tried to show you if you got if you got a uh, good likes on this video i will make a part two of these shortcut keys and let me know in comments which new shortcut key you have learned and please subscribe to my channel 99% viewer did not subscribe to my channel if you got any help from my channel then please subscribe it and if you if you got any confusion and if you have if you have any question you can ask me in comments thank you very much bye bye